Okay, um, just to recall guys, sine is a odd function. So the sine of negative x is negative sine of x times the sine of x. Notice guys, remember how I'm saying this. Sine of x, right? It's always sine of something, like the square root of something. So it's the sine of x times the sine of x. So the correct way to write this, this is a negative times a negative, right? So you have a negative times a negative, which is going to be a negative, but then it's the function times x squared, right? Okay. Now, a better way, notice that it's the function times a function, which is squared. Another way to write that would be negative sine squared of x. Okay, the one thing I don't want you to do, do not do this. Or do this. Okay? A couple things that are wrong. This example, here you're not squaring the sine function. There's two sines, right? Sine of x times sine of x. It's being multiplied by itself. Yes? When you write it this way, you're only squaring the angle. That doesn't work. Okay, that's not the same. Second thing, don't say it's negative sine of x times sine of x because negative sine squared of x, this would imply squaring that negative 1, right? Because it's inside the parentheses, right? So where the parentheses lie or where that negative lies is very important, okay? Because it's a negative times a positive, which we know is going to make it a negative, okay? So just be careful with the notation on that one. All right, the rest of them are up to you guys. You guys should be able to knock them out rather quickly.